Hi, right, it's Bill the Handyman. So we're going to look at a Kenmore washer today. Um, and so we're going to check uh, a couple of spin issues. And we're going to check uh, cl about cleaning the agitator. And we're going to check on a couple of other things. I just want to show you my bumper stickers. This is a wheatgrass product I like. So anyway, here's your uh, here's your Kenmore Elite. Uh, it's top load washer. And so first we're gonna go over the agitator thing. Uh, so you should hear hear that click. If you don't hear that click, then you got a spin problem. Um, your door switch is bad. So this one we have a good spin, but well maybe we don't. Okay, if we put it on spin and then turn it on, and then we hear this sort of a clunk when it stops. Okay, so that clunk could eventually erode the drive coupler. So that's a noticeable clunk right there. So that clunk can be solved by lubricating the brake. And I learned the hard way on this because I replaced several uh, drive coupler and incidentally this is the drive coupler here. If both the transmission shaft and the motor shaft are not turning when you uh, when you turn this, then you have a bad drive coupler. But back to the brake problem. That little yellow spring in there is the spring that holds the brake. And so, basically what I do is I just take a little zoom oiler with the long nozzle and put a couple of drops up in there. You have to be very careful because this part right down here is the clutch and you don't want to get any oil on the clutch or, or you have a real slow spin. So basically what I do is normally when it's tilted this way I take the oiler and I move the spring around. You can move the spring around by turning the clutch. Um, and you, uh, what I do is move the spring around to the bottom edge of this clutch here and put a couple of drops of this oil uh, right up in there. And, uh, and that normally solves the problem. And also you want to check here to see if you got plenty of oil here. This is normally a dry spot here. And uh, this, these parts will eventually uh, give way. You can also check any other springs to see if they have plenty of oil. Um, check to see if your water pump is leaking. I actually bought this one at the dump the other day for 20 bucks and so I'm gonna try and resurrect it. it. Doesn't seem to have any problems except for the agitator which we'll get to shortly. And so if you see a mineral trail down here below the water pump, then that means it's likely that it's going to have a, a leaky water pump. So anyway, back up here, and normally when I lube the brake, I run it through a couple of times so it works up in there. Um, and just put a few drops in there until it quits uh, quits making that funny noise that clunk that notorious clunk so here's your uh, disclaimer and so basically your agitator has a few parts this one just basically pops off I've already loosened this up so you can so we can do this pretty quick so there's like a half inch nut down there you need a long extension to pull it out and it'll come right up usually Sometimes these uh, are actually fused to the 
agitators so you have to um, take like a hot knife and, and unfuse them there's a couple little points up here that you have to deal with now this one the only thing that was wrong with this one was these dogs were flattened out so what I did was I just took a uh, a hacksaw and cut the uh, the grooves back into the dogs and so we should be good here so if you don't have four good dogs on this puppy then your agitator won't work right and so what I do is when I when I deal with this I usually take it all apart and try and clean it um, uh, so I use this stuff here um, and uh, thank you Cash and Cherry in Arcata for that donation and so basically you can look inside inside your agitator clean it up real good and then once you have your agitator off uh, now this thing here is the slider that allows the agitator to smooth smoothly move so you may got to make sure you have a good one of these and then you can pull your agitator right off and then you can clean underneath the agitator if you want uh, and then also you can clean underneath the underneath here bottom part of, part of the agitator now if you're really industrious you can uh, pull that nut off it's a regular uh, right-handed thread and then you can pull the barrel out sometimes it's kind of tricky uh, a lot of times I, I may heat this up to pull it out because it's kind of tight use some WD-40 in there and loosen it up a bit but anyway that's your top load washer tip for today thanks for watching and uh, I do repairs here in Northern California so if you need any repairs done uh, feel free to contact me 707-443-8347 and then also um, I do all repairs and I have a, an appliance repair course for $49.95 how to make money in the appliance repair business uh, I just send it to PO Box 7021 Eureka California that's Bill's Enterprises thanks for watching